Part of the strip district remains closed this noon. It is the aftermath of a large water main break. That break led to some flooding in the strip district, and this noon work continues to try to make repairs. Good afternoon. I'm Stacy Smith. And I'm Christine Sorensen. Lisa Washington shows us the damage on Smallman Street and who's affected. Pittsburgh Water and Sewer Authority crews have been working all night to repair the break in that 36 inch main. Take a look at Smallman Street here in the Strip District. We spoke with some people who live in the area. They say they couldn't believe what they were seeing yesterday. All that water onto the street after the water main broke. Some say it looked like a river at best. It was a different scale entirely. I mean, it looked like a freaking volcano. Hundreds of gallons of water rushed onto Smallman Street Tuesday evening, flooding the area and disrupting water service for people who live nearby. I saw it flooding, came down to the 16th Street Bridge and just saw it gushing. PWSA officials say the flooding was the result of a break in a 36-inch water main. It took crews an hour to find the break in the line. And I start looking at these videos and I can't stop because it is mesmerizing. From dusk to dawn and into the morning, crews worked around the clock, digging to get to the main and pulling up part of Smallman Street. Old tracks could be seen below the road surface. I've had water breaks here before and I mean the water turns brown and we have to start using bottled water and it just goes away. Gaucho, an Argentinian restaurant on Penn Avenue in the Strip District, closed early Tuesday because of low water pressure. It just dropped out. They're running one, two, three, four dishwashers in there and they all died. The restaurant plans to have business as normal Wednesday, while on Swabin Street between 14th and 17th Streets, it's anything but usual. PWSA says no customers in the area are directly impacted by the ongoing work, though it will be a while before their work is finished. Lisa Washington, KDKA News.